Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror, continuing the haunt reviews for 2014 with our trip to the House of Shock. Just read Crystal's chest mm -hmm. and you will be fine. Um, this is the final year. Yes. For the House of Shock. That much appears to be certain. Right. We, we don't mention that in our, our little preview. preview. We don't have any new information to add, but it's just been doubly, triply, quadruply, now septuply confirmed. And if we needed any further confirmation, <laughs> the stage show um, yes. drives the point home. Which wow. is, yeah. <laughs> Bizarre's a word? <clears throat> Different. Heading back to the roots of blasphemous -ish. Um, Comical. Yeah, it's definitely... All of these are words that could be used or terms to describe. Yeah, I... Confusing. Oh, that's an even better one. I like yeah, that Yeah, I one. think confusing is probably the best. Yeah, because they tried to tie up the story of the House of Shock. Right. And I've never really thought the House of Shock had this overarching plot that needed a resolution. And it's pretty much been the same every year we've been. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the war between heaven and hell is eternal. Right. It's not <laughs> going to conclude with the House of Shock. Yeah. I don't. I didn't really feel a need to tie up loose ends no. with it. And but they did. Mm -hmm. And they did. <laughs> yeah. Um in a very bizarre way. I mean, very slapstick comic comedy in some parts. Yeah. Which was very out of character for the House of Shock. Right. Um I don't want to spoil the plot because there is one and I I, I hope you enjoy it. Um but yeah, it, I'll say this, Jesus is involved. Yes. That he is involved. And, you know, basically, you know, Jesus is involved, and they, they do continue the plot from last year. Last year was about the birth of the Antichrist. Right. The Antichrist is now a 12-year-old boy due to insert, you know... Random thing. <laughs> random plot device Magic. here. Magic! Something about jackals and, and stuff. I, I don't remember no, no. all the details. Um, yeah. But basically speaking, so you've got... Uh, now an overarching plot, and they're bringing it to a very quick resolution that can only be described as bizarre, comical, and somewhat yeah. out of character. Yeah, we should adopt because Jesus. Because Jesus is yeah. as, a, as a reason for everything. As, as a resolution for it. <laughs> and, and, and it's interesting because the the part of the station before that would rather be dangerous. Was, right. That was exactly the same as I remember. And mind you, in a way, that's kind of good for the last year. Mm-hmm. Because that's like, yeah, I, I get to see this show one more time. This is my last time seeing it. So you can kind of just do the same thing from right. your last year, and it's okay. It's kind of encouraged. But no, they, they tied it up, and yeah, that happened. That whole thing happened, and that's yeah. all I can really say about it. Yeah. I know that's frustrating. but it, So be warned, the stage show is not quite the same. And it's may a little leave bit you, added. Got a little bit added. It may leave you going, what? Mm -hmm. as you um, enter the actual haunt. Yes. As for the haunt, it's pretty much the House of Shock. Yeah, it, it's pretty much the same. I mean, there were some new parts to it, but nothing really leapt out or jumped out as mm -hmm. being like, oh, wow, I, this is hugely new and this was right. rebuilt. They had, I mean, some of the parts were cool. The one thing I noticed different this year, and you are free to correct me, mm -hmm. was A, there were a lot more female actors. Yes. And B... They were being a lot more an aggressive sexually, it seemed, than yeah. in previous years. I don't know if that's something you noticed or if maybe it was just me and the way I went through it, but it seemed like there was a, uh, a lot more... Um, Sexualization of women. Yeah, in the haunt. And I'm yeah. not saying I'm against that, believe me. I'm not going to ever complain about having beautiful women in skimpy outfits mm -hmm. in my presence. Yeah, <laughs> but... It's to the point of being uncomfortable in some places. Well, and, and not like House of Shock uncomfortable. No. And I mean... Like, I'm a woman and, and, and I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable with this, you know? Well, it, it's, and it's like, I know they're trying to play on those emotions, but right. it's, at the same time, it kind of misses the mark a little bit. Yeah, because it also is, you know... And, and to me, the best actor... In the House of Shock, the one I remember and walked out thinking the most about mm -hmm. was someone right near the uh, final chamber, mm -hmm. just a girl sitting there with a bloody dress saying, "It's okay, baby, mommy's mommy loves you. It's okay." Mm -hmm. just, and she was so sincere, so heartfelt. You could hear her voice cracking and everything. It was genuinely unsettling. Hmm. 
she actually made me stop and pay attention to her. Yeah. Even though she, you could have just as easily walked right by her, not seen her, or noticed her. Which is what I did. No, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there were um, there were a lot of actors of uh, female. And I don't know if this is something that's just pure coincidence, or if there was some kind of decree from on high <laughs> about this. But it seemed like that was happening a lot more this year. A very uh, sexually aggressive behavior from the women. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, it was fairly stock and trade. House of Shock. I yeah. mean. Okay, so talking about women real quick for one okay. second, the side note. We have this thing we do whenever we go to um, some Spir costume shops. The spirits or costume shops. Right. or mm -hmm. We try to find the scariest person, scariest outfit for, for a female. For the, the intended solely for women. Yes, specifically for a woman. Do you remember any scary female characters in the House of Shock? That were not behaving in a sexual manner? No, at all. Well, no, because uh, I think the sexuality takes some away from it. I remember the uh, one girl on the balcony uh, rubbing her crotch against the face of a decap of a um, dummy yeah. missing its legs. Another one that I missed. But I didn't miss the girl that you had to walk underneath, spread eagle, or spread legs in the cave. No, that, that was hard to miss. Yeah. Um, so, but... No, I don't remember any of the women really being particularly scary. No, I, 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 they may have, they may have been, but I don't remember them. We are yeah. a, a little ways uh, removed from as we're doing this review, right? But not so far that I shouldn't. I mean, I remember several of the guys being that way. Yeah, uh, but I don't remember many of the girl, any of the girls doing. Off the top of my head, no. I was just scary. I mean, it, it's it, it seems like they were definitely pushing them more down the victim slash temptress angle. Right. Yeah. And that's I'm fine with girls playing victim and temptress roles. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I can list the haunts that do it right now. Yeah. But um, it seemed like that was exclusively what women were doing. Right. Almost. I don't know. Maybe maybe they were there and I missed them. Maybe they I didn't know they were women. Maybe they were you know. Or, or maybe very, we didn't just we just didn't find them scary. Yeah. Or maybe that's my fault. Maybe they were in a unisex costume and I assumed they were guys. I could be the jerk here. Yeah, could I be. I acknowledge that. But I I that woman I talked about that was doing the the, the victim role right. was very very good. Mm -hmm. And so there were clearly some very talented female actors in there. Right. But, um, yeah, it, it seemed like they were pushing them down that one temptress path, mm -hmm. for the most part. You know, scare-roused, I guess, yeah. <laughs> would be the angle they were taking for it. But all in all, the question people are asking me is, how's the shot going out with a bang or a whimper, so to speak? And to me, it's somewhere in the middle. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a pretty... Other than the fact this is their last season, it's a pretty normal season. Yeah, it, it's... Pretty much the same. Yeah, but I mean inside and but the outside's changed. Yeah. I mean, I mean the show changed. Yeah. But other than the show changing, there, there wasn't a whole lot. Yeah, the show's definitely different. It's a, it's gonna make you go, what? Yeah. Are you serious? Is that? <laughs> you might actually still be trying to figure out the stage show when you come out the other side. Especially if you're on the VIP line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get through more quickly, you're going to be more confused than anything. Right. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I sit with that right now is, you know, the stage show was very different, um, at least in terms of tone, maybe not in terms of content. The tone of it was definitely different. But, I mean, and that being said, it being just traditional House of Shock is not a knock against it. House of Shock is a great haunt, and yeah. I'm glad we experienced it one more time before they closed. Yes. That's just it. I mean, that's really what it is. This is your last season to see the House of Shock. It is still the House of Shock. Go see it. Yep. How's that? Sounds good. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2014 for the House of Shock, the final House of Shock review. Hard to believe. Hard to believe.